All right, we're gonna tackle the Tudors. First things first, Henry VII. Henry VII was the Tudor king. He was born in 1457 and he becomes king in 1485. Immediately, uh, he has a son, Arthur. Yes, not Henry, but Arthur. Really good looking chap right here. And Arthur uh, is betrothed in the Treaty of Medina del Campo to Catherine of Aragon. And there she is right there, Catherine of Aragon. So uh, Arthur and Catherine are gonna marry. Uh, and this is to help forge an alliance with Spain. Right, so they get this alliance done uh, in the treaty in 1497, but the two don't meet and marry until 15. Oh, one. Uh, they meet up, they get married at the old St. Paul's Cathedral, and uh, that's it. What happens on their wedding night is Grandma, Lady Beaufort, Margaret Beaufort, comes in and she lays out the bed linens. Uh, then the holy water is sprinkled onto the bed sheets. Ooh, very good. Catherine is uh, led away by her ladies in waiting, and they dress and veil her. And uh, she comes in and she's laid down. And then uh, uh, the gents, they grab Arthur and they bring him into the bedroom. And now that he's there right and then you have uh all these viola players and everybody's playing violin so we've got the band there uh, very exciting and then the bishop of london comes in to bless the union yeah pretty exciting wedding night hey yeah so then what happens well they get married and uh, they move off to wales and in march of 1502 they get this illness and they don't really know what it is um Catherine starts to recover, but Arthur does not. And on the 2nd of April, 1502, he dies. So the next person in line is Henry VIII, and he is the heir to the throne.